Hello there, Only One Kenobi here, Only One. In the making of this video, it is the 4th of July 2024, and I want to talk to you today about how I'm going to display the cantina, if and when it backs. Hopefully it will, the statistics of the making of this video are as such. I'll put them up on the screen. But as time has gone by, I have totally found myself picturing me putting it on a shelf, you know, on shelves, plural. This is my room, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I have my collection room. My dream before I moved into this place was to have just seamless shelves going across. And obviously there's a window there. I've got more shelves behind me here. And it's a, you know, a medium sized sort of bedroom, quite a small bedroom, this one, I've converted it. But um, so with this cantina, yes, I dare say you could have it on a shelf or in a coffee table, as people say, so you can look into it from above it. But um, I've never understood this argument of people saying having a roof on it. I mean, why would, why the hell would you do that? I mean, this is the thing. I never wanted a cantina. I wanted a vehicle. I wanted a sand crawler or a shuttle Tidarium. But I tell you, man, I am well into this idea of this cantina now. Love it because I've just got into the power of the diorama anyway. Look at all this stuff. And then this is my cantina shelf. Look at it. It's busting. It's too busy. That is all my cantina railings, all on one shelf. And I'm just having a bit of fun. I've put a Donkey Kong machine there and I've got a slight mock-up of a bar there from some pieces that came from the 30th anniversary collection. But really now, I can't wait to have all of it. And I'm, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange all this. and I'm gonna have it on maybe three of these. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you the measurements that have been given by Steve Evans for this thing. The measurements are as follows for the cantina. The bar itself is 37 centimetres length, it is 3.5 centimetres in height, and 19.3 centimetres in depth. So in a moment, I'm gonna take this little ruler here, centimetres, not inches, Americans, but um, I'm gonna have a look and see if I can fit on it, if it can fit on. Height-wise, I think we're gonna be fine. Depth, be interesting to see. Now then, the other aspects, the booths, you can get all three booths together with the arches which will look a bit like that. They've got arches either side like that thing there. Um, they are for three of them. So that is 68 centimeters length, 13.2 centimeters in height and 28 centimeters in depth. One booth on its own is 18.8 centimeters length, 13.2 centimeters in height and depth of 15 centimeters for one booth. And then the outside facade, and this is what excites me about that. I love the fact they've done that because what I'm thinking of doing is on my display when I get this thing, I'm gonna have the outside facade like that. That kind of looks like an outside thing anyway. And then have people like Garen Dan, I'll have my sand troopers, a few Jawas. Oh yeah, man. I'm even gonna have that thing as well. You know what I mean? I have parked outside Luke. Brilliant, man. I can't wait for this thing, man. I cannot wait. Um, oh, anyway, what are the statistics for the outside? That would be 17.8 centimeters in height. 38.6 centimeters in length going across. And then you've got, uh, what is it now? 19.3 centimeters in depth. But with that, I don't know if that includes part of the foyer or not behind it, but we'll find out when we get it. And as for the foyer, the foyer or the entrance area is 18 centimeters height, 28 centimeters in length across and the depth of 27.7 centimeters. So that is a lot deeper than the other things. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a look at my own shelves and see how things measure. But that means that these 80 centimeters will more than accommodate any width that is available on any of this stuff here. So that's all right. Let's think about the height now. So the height of the bar is 13.5 centimeters in height. So this, let's have a look at all these shelves I've done here. That is, almost 19 centimeters. This one here is 21 centimeters. See what I mean about the inaccuracies? That's just my own DIY, ladies and gentlemen. This is about 20. Um, this is 24. Yeah, and as, as I said, this lower one is, was a lot bigger. Hang on. From zero to about, yeah, that's oh, 27, 28. So there's lots of space there. Not that I'm going to put it on that lower shelf. I want it up here, man, front and center. So I can see me putting it on this one here, actually. If this is Tanti 4 and other stuff to do with the Death Star and the Empire and stuff, 
I'm thinking of getting all my cantina because it's so New Hope, isn't it? You're watching Retro Blasting. It's so New Hope, it's so pivotal, all that stuff. That's 21 centimeters in height. So what are the heights again for all the things here? The height of the bar is 13.5 centimeters. That will be fine. Height of the booth is 13.2. Nice. The booths again, 13.2, for just one on its own, as you saw before. Then you've got the outside is 17.8 centimeters height. And that's fine. It's gonna be good. So it'll definitely fit on this one here. That's 21. What about this one here? Will this be a tight? Oh, I love it, man. I can fit it on this one as well. Look at that. That's good. That's 18 point something. It, it, it goes over 18. Oh, I love it. Right, we're good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm good. I'm happy. So I'm glad I've come up here and done that because I didn't actually know exactly if it would fit on. I knew roughly it would based on these previous things. I spoke to Tim from Bosque Spiney and he said it would be fine, mate. If you can get those on your shelves, you'll be able to get this one on as well. But there you go. There is the evidence. So this is my plan. We're going to have something like this outside and foyer potentially or just the outside and some other bits and bobs from outside bear with me sorry it's a bit dark here we've got an outside rack here on my landing with uh, some like, figures like this see this is so, by the way if you if this is an outside rack of figures i'm yet to open out here but look at this that's perfect this asp droid something like that can go out there you know what i mean you could even get the ronto potentially out there as well or a dewback man Back the bar, man, it's brilliant. Can you not see retro blasting? How this is just the best thing ever. I know it's expensive, but come on, man. When you break it down and if we get to 18K, we get all those figures as well. This is setting off everything, man. It's welcome back to Tatooine. Look at it, this is my Tatooine shelves here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Um, all this is fair game in and around this HasLab project. I love it. And there's more things coming. We've got Luke Han. Chewy, Mamor Nadan. It's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait. So that's going to be something I'm going to try. Hang on, let me get the gimbal right. Sorry, folks, I'm getting a bit excited here. So, um, yeah, so outside, foyer, I'm going to have the bar probably as a centerpiece, just like the Armour's Forge there. I think all my Mandalorian stuff, because it's breaking New Hope chronology there. I'm going to get that in this alcove here. That's going to be all my overspill, my miscellaneous stuff. Oh, Yang's fallen over there. Let me get him out of the way. Like a soaker there, and I've got some Mandalorian things. So get all that out of the way. Make the original trilogy the focus. And then the booths are going to be here. So the booths are going to be in the background. And then in the foreground, I'm going to have figures just stood, hanging out. Maybe some sat in the booths, or whatever. That's the plan. Speaking of the booths, now how deep did the booths go? The booths were one booth. The depth of it was 15 centimeters, there you go. Now these shelves are 23, a depth of 23 centimeters. So 15 will take it to about there. Great, so I can have some people sat, there's space at the front so I can have like some alien studs, foreground, background. Come on man, bring it on. I can't wait for this thing, man. I cannot wait. If you have not already backed the bar, do it. It's gonna be good, man. So anyway, that is me. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted people to know how I intend to display myself. The shelf thing is awesome. Don't need a floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is why you don't need a floor, basically, as well. Because you've got that option of having it all in one piece. Like I've said in my previous videos, you can have it so you can look down on it like that, like you, like you are the falcon there. Or spread it out and really unlock all your figures and stretch them out. Exciting times, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. I have been only one Kenobi. Only one. Out.